was sudden, because we had to leave in a hurry. My father was in the underground. It was kind of thrilling, but scary, because we realized the adults were so nervous, because they didn't know if we were going to manage to get out. The plane kept getting delayed and delayed. Poppy thought that maybe the secret police were going to come get him, get us. Midsummer, 1960. Julia Alvarez and her family were escaping the Dominican Republic and one of the most ruthless dictators in the history of Latin America, General Rafael Leonidas Trujillo. Dr. Eduardo Alvarez was on his hit list, and the Americans were helping him and his family to leave. The Alvarez family was part of a vast Caribbean migration pioneers of a new Dominican wave. We had some ants up in the Bronx that had been here from the 1940s, but that was it. You know, it was mostly Puerto Ricans, some Cubans, but very few Dominicans. People, when we first came, they'd hear an accent, where are you from? Dominique? You mean Dominique? I didn't, you know, I, I would just, I ended up solving it by saying, I'm from the Caribbean. <laughs> they knew where that was because that's, you know, where people went for a vacation. I'm from the Caribbean, you know? It's like saying, I'm from Africa, I'm from Europe, I'm from the Caribbean. As they built a life in New York City, the family held on to the indelible memories of the nation they left behind. Immigration means everybody changes. You have to be flexible, you know, but certain things are important to hold on to because, you know, this culture needs it. This culture needs certain things from us. In the years after World War II, hundreds of thousands would come from Cuba, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and create new lives in America. Like so many immigrants before them, they would struggle, confront prejudice, and seize opportunity. Julia Alvarez would become an important American literary voice of her generation. An orphan boy from Puerto Rico would defy a segregated education and become a U.S. congressman. A Cuban man and his two sons would survive a perilous voyage at sea and contribute to the making of an American city. And the daughter of a sweatshop worker would win the highest honors on Broadway and in Hollywood. 